One of the things I don't understand is that uh, people start businesses, but they don't learn the skill of sales. They confuse posting social media for sales and hope that that's going to attract clients. But sales is literally going to potential clients and asking them to do business with you. And if you don't grow in sales, if your team and your company don't grow in sales, more than likely, you're not gonna make it. Think about it like this. I heard this stat the other day and it was staggering. Two thirds of the earth is covered in water, okay? Two thirds of the earth is covered in water. But 40% of the population of the earth can't swim. That's right, the estimation is that 40% of the population of the earth can't swim. So why is it when two thirds of the earth is covered in water that 40% of the population can't swim? Well, folks think, well, it's not essential or I'm scared or I'm just gonna avoid water. But that's not always possible. You can't always avoid water. You put yourself in situations where you have to avoid or skip doing things or you put yourself in real danger. Same thing. Why do so many people start businesses but refuse to learn the skill of sales? At some point in time, you have to say, would you like to do business with me? Would you like to get started today? Does my product or service meet your needs? If you don't do that, what you're doing, again, is you're just hoping and trusting that your marketing is enough to convince people to do business with you. But then that creates another problem. Very few people get training on the skill of marketing. They think, I'm just gonna put some social media posts up. And they hope, eh, I'm gonna do a couple a week and maybe that's gonna get attention. But again, there are 2.91 billion active users on Facebook. That's a lot of people to break through and get attention. So just doing a couple of posts is not gonna do it. The skill of marketing leads to the skill of sales. But most companies don't pursue either one of them. Maybe someone's good at personal Facebook, right? Well, no, no, I've got lots of friends and followers and people like my posts. But that doesn't mean that people are gonna necessarily like or want to follow you on a business platform. You might have the skills of personal networking, but that doesn't roll into the skill of marketing. Again, maybe you're great at all this naturally. Maybe you're great at personal marketing, maybe great at sales, but you know what? If you leveled up in both of those areas, you would exceed your competition. I was talking to someone the other day and I was talking about how much, just how necessary it was to put out lots of content. And they said, well, I don't wanna work that hard. I'm just gonna work that smart. And I was like, well, I thought to myself, I don't know if you're working smart. But I was like, okay, uh, let's say you don't wanna work hard, but you wanna work smart. And 90% of small businesses don't make it five years. What if you worked hard and smart? What if you did both? It would ensure you the opportunity. So what does it mean to work smart? Well, if you go get the skills of marketing and sales, you have a better chance of working smart. It just doesn't naturally come. Now, it may naturally come to have a product or service, or you may naturally be good with a camera in your hand, but growing in marketing and sales, there's a science to it. There's a skill to it. And if you grow in that, and if you work smart and you work hard, then you have a chance for your business not only to survive past those five years, but to thrive, make profits. So here's my, my encouragement to you, friends. Go get the skills you need. I always offer four options. You can do nothing and hope that people just wanna give you money. Might happen. Uh, you can learn on your own. Great, go to the YouTube videos. Watch this, pay for a course. You can three, pay for a coach. Like, hey, coach me on how to do sales. Coach me on how to do marketing. Or four, you can have someone do it for you. Those are the four options. One, you can do nothing and hope people just wanna give you money. Two, you can learn it yourself, go for it. Three, you can pay for a coach, great idea. Or four, you can hire someone to do it for you. 